Biocracy, Authority and Democracy, written by me. Yay. I was in a live stream not long ago. The name of the stream was Economic Blood Sport and was hosted by this gentleman named Academic Agent. I did not speak for very long in it, and when I did, it was just a small remark. The topic that caught my interest was a topic about fast economic policy changing. He mentioned tariffs and how removing certain tariffs would both in the short and long term benefit the government and how the government take ages to remove them. He said that there would be no negative effect and wasting time is just wasting GDP that could grow. The people, and even me, made our remarks on this notion. We said that the issue is not about those economic policies, but about the aspect of stopping a revolution. Of course, if there is a bad policy, it should be removed, but not too quickly, because it creates a structural revolution and would destroy the aspect of both the current model of government and bring in an era of confusion. We live today in an era of bureau bureaucratic authority. This term is something Max Weber coined, and someone I will be taking inspiration when I'm writing this. So what does Max Weber mean with bureaucratic authority. He means that the current system of government is following a few different notions. Knowledge, slow pace and no little policy. These three notions differ from the past and are key notions in the system we live in today. These three aspects are in place to protect itself. Knowledge. This is the aspect of confusion that makes a common man not able to grasp every aspect of government in an easy way and would take ages to understand slow pace. Any bureaucracy relies on the aspect of paperwork and in government this means any change that happen will require paperwork and paperwork takes time and slows down the changes that happen. No leader policy. This means that regardless of what leader you pick or gets picked, change will not happen because of the system that's in place and change happen regardless of what leader they pick. Academic agents has his complaints not against tariffs but against those three principles. This also comes up over and over again in the live stream. He complains about that changes don't happen quickly when we pick a new leader and a few other things. I told him to change the country in a way that a leader wants. In this system, it takes about 10 years or more. This is all very Kafka-esque and that is the point. But I want to state just for fun, we're mostly following an Anglican twists in our bureaucratic authority. If Germans would have won World War II, it would have been much more Kafkaesque, with more bureaucracy and paperwork. Now, I want to give you my issue with the bureaucratic authority system. What I don't fully grasp is why is it a democracy? Democracy has never been a good option for any government of the past or present. The point of bureaucracy Democratic authority is to confuse you, the common man. How do you know what is the best if you don't know how? The point of democracy in this system is just populism. It's just to trick you and vote on something that might or might not happen. The common man would never know. He would never know how everything works and who speaks with who. The common man is just a pawn for the leaders. The common man doesn't even know that he's being tricked. Because the common man is being tricked, just remove the common man from it. Create a government that has the main goal to make sure the nation survives, meaning protecting the people and don't change too quickly. The core of this government must exist within totality. After that, make the people be represented. Create a house of commons where all classes can speak about social changes in the nation and change a few different policies, but not anything that changes the core of the nation. This is not a democracy, but a place in if people are unhappy, they can share their opinions. This is the government. Now when a nation is safe and people can get their voices heard, the rest of the nation is the market. The market is the only place where the common man can do changes by trading. Market fascism is what I want, but I won't go into details. But market fascism exists within bureaucratic authority, but is a place in where the people can get their voices heard and the nation is safe.